There was a planet where the moon hung low in the sky, attainably low. Only several generations of the peoples below had lived before they grew ambitions to touch the moon's sky. The people devised contraptions of all sorts and mixes. Some were more successful than others, some were more safe than others. But every invention failed and no person touched the ever-watching moon. This went on for many a time, and soon the peoples had a great history of ambitious failures of creative fools and tragic heroes. And so we come to Odus, opportune Odus, that's what they called him. Odus was 48 years old when he completed the Skyhook Mark 7. It was a chilly night in September when Odus stepped down into the town square with his moon reacher. The peoples gathered to watch, hopeful but unexpected. In that moment, Odus saw things, a future played out before him. Of his sons and their daughters and their sons and their daughters, his mind's eye experienced a moment of overdrive. He saw his success. He saw these people of the future, remembering his about-to-pass moment of achievement. He saw the future generations gaze up at the moon like an aging trophy of their species. These people were uninspired. They grew lazy, then bored, then fat, and then, exhausting the land's nutrients, the peoples perished, cursing the overhanging moon. Odus snapped back into reality. He looked around himself. The town was a junkyard, but it was a creative junkyard, filled with inspiration and imagination, and success and failure, and the peoples striving to be better. You may need to suspend your disbelief a little further now, because Odus marched back into his workshop and transformed his Skyhook Mark VII into a powerful punching gun. When Odus emerged from his workshop, the peoples gathered around anxiously, not knowing what would happen. Odus set his punching gun in the centre of the town and looked at the eager faces in the night. I do this for you. Were his last words, he activated the puncher and a massive fist burst forth from the punching gun and into the sky. He is punching the moon, the people cried. He is punching our moon away from us. Stop him. In their hysterical panic, the people descended upon Odus and killed him. But there was no way to stop the massive fist now arcing into the upper atmosphere towards the moon. All the peoples looked up, some shouting their angers, some weeping their sadnesses. The punch landed, and before their eyes, the people's moon began to shrink as it peeled away from their planet. What happened next expanded the universe of every single one of the peoples. Because before their eyes, their universe did expand. With the moon out of the way, the people's view was no longer blocked. They could see their sky, and it was filled with hundreds of moons, and thousands of planets, and billions of stars. An infinite universe to inspire them forever and ever.